Hey everyone, I am Elizabeth Sherman from Total Health by Elizabeth and what I do is I help uh, folks ease into healthier habits. So um, just by making small changes every day in the direction that you want to go, just being 1% better than you were yesterday, you will get to your goal. Um, so today I have a question from Amy and Amy wrote to me asking me about supplementation and what supplements I recommend um, and this is a loaded question um, because everyone is so different so um, you know the the question really is about um, well first of all Supplements are just that. They supplement the food that you should be eating. Um, so really, you want to try and get most of your vitamins and minerals and all your things from the foods that you're taking in, okay? But sometimes it just doesn't work. Um, so you need to take in some supplements in order to, you know, just have a really good uh, body of, you know, health. Um, so how I'm going to answer this question is in two parts. One is I'm going to tell you the supplements that I take and why I take them. And um, then I'm also going to give you some resources that I will also put into the comments. Um, so... But first, let me talk about, I don't affiliate any supplementation line. So um, I'm not a beach body coach, I'm not Isogenics, I'm not um, any of those things. And the main reason why I'm not is uh, just because I think it's one thing if I tell you, hey, you need this supplement. But it's something completely different when I say, hey, buy this supplement from me. And, you know, most of the folks that I know who are representatives of those organizations, um, they fall into it because they're the supplements that they use. And they're like, hey, I could probably make a little bit of extra money if I sold this to my clients. Um, I've just stayed away from it because I think that it's a, a conflict of interest. If, again, if I say, hey, I think that you need brand X product. So um, I don't actually affiliate with any supplementation brand. Um, so, uh, the, the biggest thing with supplements is you want to know what you're taking and you want to know why you're taking it. So let me go through the list of the things that I take and why I'm taking them. And uh, you might say, hey, that sounds like a good idea, but always do your research. Um, so first thing is I always take a multivitamin. Um, and I just see that as basically insurance. Um, I do eat a good amount of vegetables. Um, so I think I'm getting, you know, my whole daily allotment of uh, vitamins and minerals. Um, but it just ensures that I get, I'm, I'm covered. Okay. Um, and then I also take a super B complex. Now, the only reason I'm taking this right now is because we have moved to Mexico and I am a mosquito magnet. Mosquitoes freaking love me. And so um, I had done some research before we came down and found some anecdotal evidence uh, that taking uh, B vitamins would lessen, it, it doesn't make you, um, it doesn't make the mosquitoes stop biting you, but what it does supposedly is it lessens the, uh, the allergic reaction to the mosquito bites. I don't know that it's actually true. I mean, I've been taking these for about six months now and I'm still getting mosquito bites and they still freaking itch, um, but I'm still taking it. Um, so, you know, whatever. So anyway, I'm taking a B, uh, super B complex. Um, then I also take fish oil. Uh, and you know, as far as fish oil goes, uh, fish oil is, you know, rich in omega-3 fatty acids. And if you don't have a lot of fish in your diet, you may want to consider taking uh, fish oil 
or if you find that you take in a lot of saturated fat in your diet, uh, you may want to take in fish oil. And so the, the rule of thumb uh, is that we want really a one to four ratio of saturated fat to omega three and six uh, omega-3 fatty acids uh, which is what you find in algae oil and fish oil and um, the heart healthy oils uh, most Americans are getting more like a 1 to 20 or I'm sorry I said that opposite um, so for every one gram of uh, omega-3s um, you can have six or I'm sorry four of your omega-6s uh, which is your saturated fats um, but most Americans are getting like 1 to 20 so it's really lopsided um, the ratio is actually more important than the total amount of fat in your diet um, so fish oil is definitely something that I take um, and then also I take a probiotic and probiotics are um, just a way of uh, replenishing your gut health um, so in your gut you have uh, I don't want to say bad um, bacteria but you have yeah you have good and bad bacteria and so if you ever go through a period of when you're having antibiotics you're sick uh, you may want to take a probiotic just to uh, just to reflourish uh, your gut flora um, so those are the supplements that I take on a daily basis. Now, um, I also work out in the morning on an empty stomach. And so because of that, when I'm working out, I supplement with BCAAs. Uh, BCAA stands for branch chain amino acids, uh, which is what you find in uh, protein. Amino acids are make up your building blocks of protein. Um, and I just find that when I take the BCAAs, uh, my energy is better and as well, my workouts are actually better. I'm able to go through my workouts um, with better strength and stamina than if I'm just drinking plain water. Um, so I supplement with BCAAs uh, as I'm working out. Not before, not after, but while I'm working out. And then finally, the other supplement that I take is uh, whey protein. And I do that occasionally. I just do that in my shakes. Again, I try to get my protein from like real sources uh, versus just, uh, um, you know, supplementing. Um, but uh, when I do, when I want a protein shake because it's freaking hot here in Mexico um, and I don't feel like eating real food, then I'll supplement with a whey protein shake. Okay. So those are the supplements that I take and why I take them. Um, now, there was a period of time when um, I was feeling really low energy and so your brain actually has neurotransmitters. I know you're wondering where the hell am I going with this? Um, but there are some supplements that can actually help with symptoms that you may not think are actually, um, are actually food related. So for example, um, in your neurotransmitters, one for example is serotonin. You've probably heard about this before. And serotonin is, uh, responsible for your happiness and your well-being. If you are low in serotonin, you will crave starchy and salty treats, okay? So like pretzels and chips and things like that. Um, so I'm gonna give you a link in my comments and it'll bring, you, it'll bring you to a quiz and you can take the quiz and figure out if you are low in any of these neurotransmitters and it'll also tell you which supplement that you can take uh, if you want to do anything about that. So the next neurotransmitters, there are four altogether. Um, so serotonin, dopamine, GABA, and acetylcholine. So um, dopamine is actually good for mental focus um, and drive. So when you're really feeling, you know, driven to do something. Um, if you're not, then that might mean that you're low in dopamine. And dopamine, folks who are low in dopamine will also crave uh, alcohol, sugar, uh, caffeine, chocolate, and things like that, things that would keep them up. Um, so again, if you're low in dopamine, you may be craving those types of things. 
uh, finally, or I'm sorry, GABA is the third, and GABA is a feel-good hormone. It's a uh, relaxing and it makes you feel low anxiety and folks who are low on GABA um, will want to eat a large volume of food. Uh, folks who are low in GABA also might be emotional eaters. So, um, you know, if you find that you are, you just like to eat a lot of food, then it could be that you are low in GABA. And then finally, acetylcholine. And acetylcholine is uh, responsible for clarity of thought and speed of thinking. And folks who are low in acetylcholine will also crave uh, fatty foods. So again, I'll post the link in the uh, comment section, um, but those are just some things, some cravings, and how supplementation can help with uh, lowering your cravings if you are having them. Um, so that's the answer to what supplements I recommend um, and what supplements I'm taking. So again, always do your research, know why you're taking the supplements that you're taking, and um, yeah, that's about it. So again, I'm Elizabeth Sherman. I am uh, a health coach. I help folks ease into healthier habits and uh, I am doing 30 days of Facebook Live. If you have any questions for me or if you want me to answer any questions for you, I would love to answer them um, and I will see you tomorrow.